and this is when you know you're almost to the end. It's when you get those rounds. Now, you know what? I think I might make a couple of squares here. Because, of course, the smaller you make your item, but the faster it cooks. Oh, but those are fine. You're doing great. All right, so let's just dump that in one of our bowls. I'm going to get those seeds out of there, though. Let's wipe those seeds off. There you go. Those seeds can be really bitter. Although, you know, it's that time of year. You can take those seeds and plant them and grow your own bell peppers. Yeah, yeah, right in your, on your window seat. Oh, I never thought about that. Yeah, because that, that's a nice little hot house. Yeah, just keep it water and it will sprout for sure. Okay, let's move on. Why don't we do our onion next? Now, white onions are, um, onions in general have a lot of antioxidants. And what antioxidants do is they kind of surround your cells so that you um, prevent cancer because your cells are healthy. It's like a healthy protection for your cells. In fact, most of these vegetables do the exact same thing. So with our onion, first we're gonna just cut it in half. Now there's all kinds of ways that um, people slice onions. I think every cook has its own way. But what we're gonna do is and just give it a little, little slit on the outside and peel off that first layer. go. So we're going to make this one um, into fairly large pieces. Now onions also help with inflammation. So if you find that you're stiff, your hands are kind of stiff, your body's kind of stiff, onions are a good, good source to help with that inflammation in the body. So all we're going to do here is just very nicely slice it. Now, you're gonna use a claw. I see you have your fingers laying out like that. That is the incorrect way to cut because if you slip, you're gonna cut your fingers. You use the claw, like a tiger claw. And you grab what you have so that if your knife slips, it slips up against your knuckles. Yeah, there you go. Okay. All right, and we can just throw those in a bowl. Have all these pieces. I have a little deal here that's going on. Let me cut the tip off. We're going to have some nice pieces to saute. All right. like I said, are a great source, and they also help to reduce cholesterol. Okay, next, why don't we go to our carrot? Now, you should have a um, peeler on your station here. So first, we're just gonna very nicely peel our carrots. I don't know if you can see that. We're just gonna take off that top layer. And I'm just gonna Shut off our stove. Make sure we're up. Okay. Great. We're good. Got those ramens over there. Mm -hmm. They're ready to roll. Doing great. Wonderful. Ah, uh, you've done this before. I can tell. <laughs> All right. Okay. So now we're just gonna um, slice our again. I'm gonna cut off the ends. You don't want those. And then I'm going to cut that carrot in half. Then I'm going to cut that in half. Again, the goal is to have a flat surface to work on. Now, we can do this a couple of ways. We can make these long and cylindrical, or, okay, which I think I'm going to, let's, let's just do them half carrot. So what you're going to do is, it's kind of like a rocking chair. Take your knife and use the back part of your knife here and just chop. Use that claw. You got it. Yay. All right. Practice that. You'll be just like 
the ninjas on TV. <laughs> okay, very good. And then we're gonna throw that in a bowl. And as you can see, it's kind of a rainbow of colors that we have going here. Yeah. And each one of these items, you know, your your body is also a rainbow of colors inside. So things that are out here, like the red for your heart, you know, your liver has a color, is darker, so um, mushrooms are good for the liver. It kind of, if you think about the rainbow and colors, you can really begin to uh, prepare meals that help you internally. Okay, now everything here has been rinsed off. But let's move over to the mushrooms. Mushrooms you don't wash because mushrooms are 90% water. So if you wash them and put them in water, you're gonna waterlog them. And it really uh, tampers with when you're trying to saute them and the, the flavor and everything. We're gonna take the stems out. Stems can now, there, there's a school of thought that says you use everything. Um, but stems can be a little tough. So I usually remove my stems. For this dish in particular, I'm just gonna remove my stems. Okay? Mm -hmm. And then if you need to clean, let's get a paper towel here. If you need to clean a mushroom, because sometimes they come straight from the, the ground and they're dirt, just take a little paper towel and wipe them off. Easy peasy. That's all you have to do. And that will suffice. Because you don't, like I said, you don't want to add water to them because you don't want to, um, to water bark them. Yes. And then we're going to do the same thing, just give it a chop. Use that claw, use that claw. Don't stick those fingers up there. Just claw it up. That way it's safe cutting. I have a really big one here, so I'm gonna cut it in half. And then let's put that one in a bowl. I think one of these we may have to double up one, but so far. Okay. You're doing great. You're doing great. All righty. Okay, next we want to move over to our cabbage. And cabbage, um, red cabbage, granted, has more antioxidants than your green cabbage does. But um, for this particular dish, you know, and, and cabbage is also using coleslaw. Yeah, so we're going to add a little zest to our meal today. And this one is simple. Turn, uh, we're going to take off that end. You don't need that. You don't need that rough end. And then we're just going to slice it very thin. And it'll make its own. Uh, I don't know, we need maybe about half of this. And as you can see, it just naturally falls apart. Hmm. Easy. I bet you didn't think when you saw all this that it was going to be this easy, did you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you have any questions? Um, where'd you get all this stuff? Where? I mean, like, which one? Well, that's a good question. Um, this time of year, I do farmer's markets. Um, because, and they're all around town, they're all around on the east side. There's several locations, um, particularly there's, I believe there's one almost every day on Jefferson now. Um, but there are some great uh, grocery stores around, and uh, just go ahead to your produce section, and you can uh, find all of these. Okay, we're good. Okay, next is broccoli. Ooh. Now, broccoli, they call it the super vegetable because it has so many great nutrients in it, and it's, it's wonderful for you. And it's also um, lowers the uh, blood pressure. And it doesn't have a lot of sugar. The only thing we have on our table, really, that has sugar is our carrots. 
but the carrots don't give you that sugar spike that you get when you eat candy or high fructose corn syrup or anything like that. So it's really, really good for um, diabetics because if you want something sweet to add to your dish, it's great to add because it doesn't give you that sugar spike. Mm. Yeah. Okay, this is easy. Now, the way you clean, um, sometimes, now these have been cleaned, but sometimes you can find with broccoli that uh, you have little mealies in there. So the way to deal with that is you just simply put it in water with a little vinegar. Some people add salt. I don't add salt because I'm trying not to put salt, more salt in my diet. And you just put it in there for about 20 minutes and it will take all that out. Wow. Yeah, 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 yeah. So this has already been pre-done for you. So all you have to do here is very nicely just cut off that stem and you'll get all the little florets. Um, we'll throw those, oh, you know, we ran out of bowls, so we'll just double up a little bit here. So I'll go into the same spot. So I'm just gonna throw it in with my peppers. Me too. All right. Now just a little tip. What I did is I put a wet paper towel underneath my cutting board. And if you put that underneath, it keeps your cutting board from sliding around. Ooh, yeah. I that a lot. Safety. Safety first is what they say. All right. So we've got our mushrooms and our carrots and our onions, our white onions, our um, cabbage, the broccoli, and our red bell pepper. Last but not least, garlic. Now, garlic is an excellent, excellent um, source of um, antioxidants. I have a, I had a friend who was um, who lived to be a very old age, and she would eat a clove of garlic a day. Wow. Yes, and but she lived to be 100 years old, so can't fight it, right? <laughs> <laughs> but garlic is very simple. These these cloves are pretty big, so we're not going to use all of them. Mm -hmm. I'm going to choose a more medium sized one. Now, garlic is very easy. All you do is just simply cut the ends off. It's always your first step. Cut your ends off. That helps to peel, make it easy to peel. Okay. And we're not going to mince this one. We're just simply going to slice it because we're just going to run it throughout. So just slice it, maybe make it into maybe smaller pieces. But Needs to be a nice size. All right. And all this comes together, it's gonna be so good. So good. So good. So, yes, so good. Okay, so we are ready now to start cooking. Yay. Because what we've done, what we prepared here, is what we call mise en place. So we have mise en place is a French word, by the way, that stands for everything in its place. So now when you cook, it's one, two, three, people say, oh, it takes so long to chop and do all this. But really, now it's gonna go really, really quick because we've got all our mise en place ready. Over here we have about um, three tablespoons of our low sodium soy sauce. We're, we're making sure we, we put a rain on that sugar, on that sodium rather. We've got some garlic powder, about a half a teaspoon of garlic powder. We've got some um, a half a, about a half a teaspoon of pepper, and we've got some Italian seasoning. So, with all of that, you don't need to add any salt because we've got a little bit of salt in with our low sodium soy sauce, and everything else it adds flavor. So we don't really need a lot of salt. So it's going to be great. Okay. All right. So just pop on your cooktop. And we're gonna put the temperature on 320. And take a, we've got a couple of tablespoons of olive oil and just pour that in. Now I see what I am missing is, we don't have spoons, such as. So I'm gonna step back.
you are welcome. Alrighty, so that should be heating up pretty nicely. But um, vegetables are the key to good health, they really are. Vegetables and fruit. Last week we did a fruit pizza. I'm hoping that there's a lot of people out there who had joined us last week. And we did a fruit pizza. Get in a little smoke, so we're gonna throw our onions. So when you get that sizzle, you know you're right, and you're gonna put your mushrooms in there. Okay. I guess it was telling me it was ready. Okay, and you're gonna stir. Stirring is the key to keep from burning. We're going to saute those up real nice. Now you want to saute these until your onions get a little translucent and your um, mushrooms softer. Okay, I think we're going to take this fire down a little bit. Take it down to about 2, 250. Mine's heating up really fast. I don't know why. Keep stirring, keep stirring. That's the key to not burning. Okay. You know, I didn't ask them about this cook top. They didn't seem to think it was a problem, but now I'm thinking about it. <laughs> okay, it's starting to smell really good, isn't it? Yes, it is. Yes. All right, so let's take that temperature down just a little bit more. Take it down to 180. All right. Wow. I'm ready to eat now. It smells so good. Oh y'all out there in Facebook land, if you can smell this space up in here. Now, one of the reasons why, I'm gonna take it down again. Mine is really smoking up over here and I'm worried about that up here. Um, I like the, these mushrooms, the portobello, the baby bellas, because they almost taste like steak. They really do. Yes. Okay, let's pop some uh, of our broccoli in. Let's put some of that bell pepper in there. Now it's starting to look really colorful too. Eat the stir. That's why I said it's almost like a stir fry. Mm -hmm. All right. Wow, that smells so good. Ah, it smells so good that we've got Mr. Fly here. So, most people cook their veggies until they're limp and they don't, that, you're taking all the nutrients out if you overcook your vegetables. So you really don't want, you see how your broccoli is getting really, really green? Yeah. That's your signal that it's, it's ready to, to consume. Okay, so let's throw those carrots in there now. I'm not going to put all the carrots, let's, let's put a few carrots. And I saved our cabbage for last, only because it's going to cook the fastest. Okay. Keep it going. So this one cooking goes from slowest vegetables to fast vegetables. Yes. Okay. I'm going to take mine back up to 180 because it seems like all this I've got in here has slowed it down. Oh, can't wait. Get ready, taste tester. We've got her little brother here today, and he's going to be our taste tester. Wow. That's smelling really good. Okay. Okay. So 
So if you could take, yeah, there you go. It's looking good. Yeah, you're doing you're doing fabulous. Now I'm noticing here's something you can always make adjustments. I'm noticing that it's mine is getting just a tad dry. So we're gonna add a splash of olive oil, just a splash, to bring it back up again. There you go. is add in uh, the garlic and you don't uh, the garlic and the cabbage okay now the garlic is very very fickle and sometimes because you don't want to add that garlic early if it turns brown it gets really bitter so that's why we didn't put that in up front not only is this a great smelling dish it's a pretty dish yeah it is You're doing great. Just keep it stirring. All right, now I'm going to take it up another. That's a, when you cook on a cooktop, you just got to keep adjusting. So it'll have a steady tip. And then while we're looking at you, I'm going to go over here and get our ramen noodles ready. Ooh. different ingredients. Now there's, you know, a couple of schools of thought on this too because you could actually mix all your dry ingredients together first. That promotes evenness throughout your recipe. But we can just, for purposes of what we're doing, we can just add it in. Keep stirring. And then, how you doing over there? You doing all right? Okay. And then you're gonna take your soy sauce, pour it in, and stir. Now, this dish is looking pretty good, I must say. So here's where we're at. We've got all our vegetables incorporated, all of our seasonings are in there. We've got our noodles all stir fried in. And we are ready. Let that cook up for a few minutes. 
Why don't you grab a couple of plates over there? Oh my goodness. Beautiful dish. Look at that. Just beautiful. Okay, you can turn off your cooktop. And we're ready to serve it up. So let's get our taste testers over. You want mine or you want your sister's? Now which do you want? Okay. Right, Let's go ahead and dip that up. I'll grab a couple of forks. supporting this program, as well as REACH on Ferry Street, the health and wellness facility. And I'm Aunt Connie of Aunt Connie's Edge Kitchen, and we're here at Gerard Place in their lovely, shiny kitchen. That's all we have for you today. Bon appetit, and do enjoy a healthy ramen noodle meal. See you next week. Bye. Bye.